You're watching Horror News Network. Can you start by telling us your name and what you do on the show? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Kelly Overton, and I play Vanessa Van Helsing on Van Helsing. Um, is that it, or you want me to talk about my character? Oh, you can keep talking. I will keep talking then. Okay, great. Um, I play uh, Vanessa, and she's a single mom. Um, and she has a daughter, which we didn't really touch on too much in there, um, but was one of the things that I loved about the character and that drew me to the role. Um, I'm a mom as well. I have a five-year-old daughter, and um, just that the maternal instincts and knowing, like just resonating with doing everything to protect your, your daughter. Um, so she wakes up from a coma after three years and uh, realizes that the world's gone to shit. It's, you know, post-apocalyptic and it's run by vampires. And the vampires want her and the humans want her, um, each for their own purposes. But she doesn't give a shit about that. <laughs> she just wants to find her daughter. So her main mission when she wakes up and starts remembering who she is, but then discovering all these new special abilities and kind of this new identity and reconciling that um, at the same time of where's my daughter, it's been three years, is she alive, is she not, like how do I find her and she's pretty single focused on, um, on figuring that out, on that, that being her mission, yeah. And then of course, yeah. 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 Well, what they thought was pretty great too. It's a lot of fighting, and um, you know that's the journey. Um, it's a lot of fighting, a lot of blood, a lot of great blood, a lot of wonderful dynamics between the characters. I mean, the characters are so, I think, rich and deep and edgy, and there's this this realism that we really tried to bring um, to the show. Uh, and the, the actors, we were so lucky to have such great talent. Um, that's everyone involved, I think. How did, this, how did this come your way? What was your reaction when you first read the script? And then following to that, do you have some creative input based on viewing a little bit of your own personality? Sure. Um, well, my agent sent me the script, and he's like, this seems right up your alley. Um, and he was right, uh, not only with the genre and it making sense in my career, um, but with uh, just the, the mother aspect and then the athleticism that the role required. You know, I come from a sports background, um, track and soccer and basketball. Uh, so... Um, there was just all these components to it that just felt like such a great fit. Um, and I loved that it was Neil LeBute. I loved Neil LeBute. You know, there were so many, um, so many twists on the genre. Like, having Neil LeBute do a vampire show. I was like, that, I I'm in. Like, what is that? Like, that's going to be really interesting. I mean, he writes characters and high, high stakes. Um, and just chaos so beautifully, you know, and he, he gets intense, you know, and I was like, this is going to be really interesting, taking the male Van Helsing role and making it a female, um, taking a person who can bite a vampire and turn them human. I mean, there are so many cool things about it. Um, yeah. Did I answer your, your question? Okay. Yes, the creative input, absolutely 100%. And um, again, I'll give Neil a lot of credit here. Um, and everybody really, the writers and producers and cast, uh, there was such a, just such an atmosphere of collaboration. Um, and creatively speaking, that's invaluable for getting the best possible product you can with what you're working with. And so, yeah, I, I would get the scripts and I would read them and, you know, I would, Neil and I would just communicate and I'd fire off all my ideas and he'd be like, I love that, and he'd incorporate them. And um, that, that was really special. That was, that was really that's awesome. That's yeah. Beautiful. That doesn't always happen. No, no, it was, there was a lot of respect artistically. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. So having come from or having past experiences with a strong female character, yeah. coming into a show that's got another strong female now B character, yeah. what are the differences? What are the different dynamics? 
What do you mean exactly? Different dynamics? Well, it, 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 it's, it's a past experience. Uh, you, you played a very strong female character. Like in True Blood, you mean, exactly. as a werewolf. Okay. Exactly. So coming to this, yeah. uh, what, what, what are the differences in okay. the type of character? Sure. Um, yeah, it was. Um, I think uh, the mother aspect, um, the, you know, that she's a mom, um, and it's an ordinary girl who wakes up in the future and discovers she has supernatural powers. Um, and there was such a vulnerability to the character that I really wanted to play, I mean, especially in the beginning. I, I didn't want to be this super tough, strong, like, you know, you know she's going to be okay character I wanted to show like you know that this is a woman who you know is heroic in her core that's just who she is um, but she's completely you know she's a, she's she's just completely a, a normal person who wakes up in these extraordinary circumstances um, and as resourceful as she is she's she's also terrified yeah <laughs> yeah I did Dead. They're after me, man. They're after me. It's tough out there. <laughs> Do you, um, did Neil also bring to the table, in your opinion, that you know, was sort of uh, part and parcel to what he's about and why he's shown running it? Yeah. You know, the show. yeah. Is there, can you give a specific example of maybe you've seen some lines? You know, there are things I could say, but they'd be spoilers, so I can't. Um, but based off of what we saw, um, you know, Neil isn't, he's not afraid. Neil isn't afraid to dive into the, the darkness of humanity. Um, and he didn't shy away from it. And I think that's what makes the vampires really cool. Um, you know, from just a gory aspect and the actors that they cast, you know, like really went for it. Like there's some really like intense stuff that happens that, you know, people might find hard to watch. And then I think psychologically speaking, Neil isn't afraid to dive into the psychologically dark aspect of being human. Um, so, and that comes out a lot in the, uh, you know, inner dynamics between the characters. So, we all went to some pretty intense places at times. And you played both sides of the fence. Yes. The werewolf. Yes. Now Van Helsing. Yes. What do you think is the stronger breed? Oh gosh. Well, then Vanessa's kind of her own breed, right? I mean, I don't know. It's like, I'm not a vampire, so I can't really make a call on that. And I gotta stay true to my werewolf troopies too, right? You know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching Horror News Network.